I told the church years ago, many years ago, I told the church that this gospel, you will see how strong it is and how powerful it is until you will see religious organizations out in the street with signs. It came to pass last Sunday in Philadelphia. Amen. Prophecy came to pass, the Hebrew Israelites, while we was in service, headquarters was packed from front to back, and I was wondering why the brothers kept moving around, and I stopped teaching and said, what's going on? The Hebrew Israelites, maybe two or three hundred, came out the outside of the campus and surround the whole campus. <laughs> Amen. Around the whole campus. And they actually felt this though that I should have stopped having service to come outside and accommodate them. So they was out there lined up with their purple and gold shirts and whatnot. And many of them were shocked because they didn't realize the campus was that big. So while they was marching around the campus, many of them, some were saying all type of foul things out of his mouth. And then he was walking, he said, do you see this? This Pastor Jennings must have been a big time drug dealer before he came in the church to get this. No. Elohim gave it to us. Hallelujah. Jehovah gave it to us. Hallelujah. I am that I am gave it to us. So the so-called Hebrew Israelites thought if they would be outside, they set speakers up in flyers. When the brothers told me about it, I felt good. <laughs> I can't begin to express to you the joy that rung in my soul because the Lord showed me that visions, the vision of religions protesting, but he never told me when and who. But they done it when the apostles was here until so they said, we got to stop these men. Before they turn the world upside down. They didn't surround T.D. Jakes. They didn't surround Creflo Dollar. They didn't surround Benny Hinn. It's the truth of God that's causing a disturbance here. Truth of God is causing a disturbance in you. So they said that I should have came out. And they got mad because I told the brothers and sisters, when you leave and go outside after the benediction, if they come to you, treat them respectfully, speak to them, and keep going like they're not there. They didn't like that. Now, since last Sunday, I received several letters from other Hebrew Israelite organizations apologizing. <laughs> apologizing for the antics of the so-called brethren. Let me say, the truth of God have an international platform. And they wanted me to come outside because they want our platform. And they're mad because we won't give them our platform. I don't call you Hebrew Israelites. In the 1920s and the 1930s, I believe it was either in New York or Chicago, there was a game called the Purple Game. 
That's all you are to me. And your purple and gold pajamas, you're nothing but the purple game. They say he don't preach God is black. I most certainly do not. I preach God is a spirit. Give me Romans. Romans chapter 9. And then give me Revelation. Romans chapter 9 and we'll start at verse 5. This is what I think of you so-called Hebrew Israelites, the purple gang. Amen. See, everyone that claims they are Israel is not Israel. That's right. This is the same ones you see on the corners. Cussing. You can see them on social media where folks that videotape them. Beating up women. Stomping them. Slapping them around. Abusing them. They surround the whole church. And let me say it to the purple gang. I'm from the hood. I'm used to noise. That's right. Do you really think your hollering and screaming moved me? I'm from Huntington Park. I was raised among hollering and screaming. That don't move me. Though a whole shit in camp against me. Your hollering and screaming, your antics. I must say, it was, it was a pretty decent show. <laughs> pretty decent performance. And they done what I knew they would do. Eventually, leave. <laughs> Notice what the book says in the book of Romans. Romans chapter 9 and we're at verse 6. You see, I am sound. In the faith that when I declare I'm not intimidated by anybody, I mean it. You surrounding the truth of God's campus, you have no idea how much of a blessing you were to the truth of God. What you've done, you have brought more attention to the campus until some are here now that used to be Hebrew Israelites that had repented and were baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. So this is one preacher who ain't moved by noise. Oh no. You can holler until you lose your voice. Pastor Jennings is not intimidated by nobody and nothing. This shows you how strong the gospel is. Where religion will come and encircle the entire church. You could have yelled all day, but these walls of Jericho would never come down. The Bible is not designed to cater to nobody's color. Who cares how black you are? In the 30s, in the 20s, in the 40s, in the 50s, in the 60s, the Ku Klux Klan had the same Cheap, weak, frail teaching. They call themselves white Christians. Burning crosses. Their uniforms, white sheets. White pillowcases. And their bigot belief, all heaven would be white and black folk had no chance of being saved. The Hebrew Israelites come with the same thing. That Jesus died only for people of color. And all white folk 
or lost? Now I have a very interesting question. To all black historians who have any knowledge of slavery, according to history, People of color was kidnapped from Africa, brought to Europe and also to America, sold like livestock. And whatever bigot purchased you, he purchased you with the attitude you was nothing but like a horse, an ox. You were property. To identify his property, he or she took the name of its master. I want you to follow me good. Then your enslaved master took your mama, your sister, your daughter, and had unlawful sex with them at will. So then the children that was born on that plantation, if Mr. Harris was the slave master, then all slaves took on Harris' name. But when white Harris laid with the black woman and a child came forth, the child was mixed blood. I want you to follow me. Black and white, mixed blood. And this went on for years and years. Now to you, to the purple gang. Which one of you black men it's pure black. And if you are a product of descendants from slaves in which we are, then there is white blood in your black body. So if the black man have no chance of being saved, then what part of you is going to hell? Because there's a whiteness in you. Then that will make some part of your DNA, some part of you has got to go to hell according to what you believe. If whites have no chance to be saved and you trace your tree back to a plantation, your black face with white blood. So, tell me how God going to do this. Is he going to take the white part out of you and send it to hell and then the black part he's going to take into heaven? You say God is all black because the Bible said his hair is like wool. All right? Come here, Brother Campbell. So, his hair like wool. White like wool, white as snow. That's what the book says. The, book says. the hairs of his head is white like wool. White as snow. They look at the scripture where his feet and his arms and hands like fine brass. They say that's the color of a black man. All right. But what color is his head? Hmm. It's the language of the scripture that they overlook. 
And it is this fine detail that I love to see. That's right. Listen at the book of Revelation. Revelation chapter 1, we'll start at verse 13. Listen. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, in one light. In the midst light, of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. Clothed with a garment down to the foot. Listen. And girded about the paps with a golden girdle. What is it? His head. Head and is his, one thing. His head. And his hairs. And his hairs. What color was his head? And his hair were white, like what? Like wool, as white as snow. That don't mean that God was a white man. But here you got his feet, and his feet, his feet, like unto fine brass, as what? As if they burned in a furnace. So brass, you know that brassy look. So right then they say God is black. Well, if that means God is black, why is his head white? That's right. That's right. Don't tell me God got leprosy. And don't tell me God is misbreed. That's right. His head and is his one hairs. color. Mm -hmm. But what? And his head and his hairs were white like wool. His head and his hairs was white like wool. As white as snow. You see, yo, scalp can be black, but your hair that comes from the scalp can be different colors. It can be blonde. It can be silver. It can be white. But your scalp, your head, head. your head, head is covered with skin. So your skin will blend in with your hands. So why isn't God's head, head. brass? Yeah. If God is all black. The Bible says what? His head. What? His head. This part. Head. His head. And his hair. Well, he don't have the hairs, but he got the head. <laughs> All right, brother. His head and his hair were white. 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 White, white like wool. Like his wool. head and hairs. White. That's right. Like wool. White as snow. That's right. Then what? And his feet. And his feet. Like unto fine brass. Whole different color. As if they burned in the furnace. Head one color, feet another. You see, God was not concerned with trying to make any race superior to another. That's right. Black supremacy is just as rotten as white supremacy. Here we are in the last days. People are dying, killing each other. Women are being raped. Our young children are going to jail, committing murder at 10. Last, earlier this week in Philadelphia alone, a group of young kids murdered freely for fun. A 75-year-old man beat him down in the street took a street cone and beat him with other objects and later on he died and the youngest one was 10. ten. All this murder! The world is lost! And the only thing you can think of is being black! The black man that don't obey God is a loss. Black man. For if you don't obey what God commands, obedience outweighs your color. All you black people, people of color that is joining religions, worrying about tracing your origin back to one of the tribes of Israel. I'm out of Judah. I'm from Reuben. I'm from Gad. I'm from Dan. I'm from Issachar. I'm from Nephtali. I'm from Benjamin. I'm from Joseph. Which one of you are from God? I come from God. I don't care what tribe I come from. 
because coming from a tribe of Israel don't guarantee me eternal life. It is my obedience to God that guarantees me eternal life with him. That's why they hate my big trumpet mouth. They surround the whole campus. They probably was out there for over two hours or more, yelling constantly, hollering and speakers and all that. And I wasn't phased. No, you weren't. It was wonderful. <laughs> Give me the book of Romans. Romans chapter 9 and at verse 6. Follow me. Not as though the word of God hath taken none effect. Not as though. Oh, the word of God is having an effect too, brother. Oh, yes. I disagree with many men, but I would never belittle myself to go on the outside of their place of worship and holler and scream and make noise like a bunch of children playing in the park. That's right. I would never belittle myself and try to interrupt somebody else's service even if they wish up is false. That's right. I would never belittle myself. That's right. But the purple game really thought they accomplished something. Hmm. And you didn't accomplish nothing. Think of it. You came to the Truth of God campus and you screamed and you yelled and you marched away. That's right. You scream. That's right. Surround the whole campus. About two or three hundred of them. Screamed and yelled. And then you marched away. That's right. And did you actually think that noise will bring some type of intimidation? Or scare us? That's right. There was a king named Jehoshaphat. There was another king named Ahab. Ahab done something similar. He wanted to take some territory called Ramoth Gilead. But Jehoshaphat was spiritual minded. So Ahab got about 400 and some liars. That's right. Hollering with one voice. He went to them, should I take Ramoth Gilead or should I forbear? forbear? And they all said with one voice, go up, go up and prosper. They was outside for probably over two hours yelling my name. Yes, they were. Pastor Gino Jenner. That's right. We want Gino Jenner. Yes, they were. <laughs> I am so grateful that you think enough of my name <laughs> that you will scream it with all your might. That's right. You have really touched my holy heart. Amen. Are you getting the old troublemaker? Amen. Listen. Back in Romans 9 and verse 6. Says what? Not as though the word of God hath taken none effect. Not as though the word of God didn't take effect. For they are not all Israel. They are not all Israel. Which are of Israel. Which are of Israel. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham. Are they all children? Are they all children? But in Isaac. In Isaac. Shall thy seed be called. Because you claim you from Israel. So what? So what? Because you say you are the real Israelites, so what? So what? If you don't obey Jehovah's command, that's right. Then Israel will go to hell. What advantage then hath the Jew? Listen at this. In Romans chapter three and at verse one, Pastor Paul said, "What advantage then? What advantage then hath, hath the Jew? The Jew, or what profit is or there? What profit?" Is there of circumcision? Is there of circumcision? What then? What then? Are we better than they? Are the Jews better than anybody else? No. The Bible asks the question. What then? Here you are surrounding the truth of God campus and heaven Amen. spoke before you got there. What then? 
What then? Are we better than they? Are we better than they? No. But I got on purple and gold. No. But I got dreadlocks. No. But I got a beard. No. I'm black. No. Brown. No. Yellow. No. Cinnamon. No. Peanut butter. No. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. Give me the book of Revelation. Now in Revelation chapter 2 and at verse 9. Says what? I know thy works. God talking. God talking. I know thy works. I know all about you. And tribulation. I know what you went through. And poverty. Your poverty. But thou art rich. Yet you're rich. Hold it. You're poor. He said, I know your state of poverty, but yet you're rich. Yet you're rich. How are you rich? When you have God's word, you have the greatest riches in the world. That's right. What is it? I know thy works in tribulation and poverty. Yes. But thou art rich. But you're rich. And I know the blasphemy. And I know the blasphemy. Of them which say they are Jews. Of them that say they are Jews. And are not. What are they, William? But are the synagogue of Satan. Amen. That's why that hollering don't move me. That's right. That's right. Amen. Jehovah is with the truth of God. That's right. I don't have to march around synagogues and church. No. All I got to do is what God say do. Preach the words. Think of it. It is the preaching of the word that made you get out your bed and drive your cars and surround the church because the word was preached. That's right. That's right. What did they have in mind? We got to stop these men. Stop, stop them. They're troubling Philadelphia too bad. <laughs> That's right. Truth of God all over social media. That's right. Souls is being converted. Yeah. Muslims are coming going down in the water. Yeah. Hebrews are coming going down in the water. Germans are going down in the water. Africans are going down in the water. Yeah. Indians are receiving the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Are you getting what I'm talking? I know thy works. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know, I know thy word. I know thy word. And tribulation. And tribulation. And poverty. Poverty. That thou, but thou art rich. You're rich. And I know the blasphemy. I know the blasphemy. Of them which say they are Jews. Of them that say they are God's people. And are not. And are not. But are the synagogue of Satan. Now, a synagogue is a temple. And your body is a temple of the living God. So with the mouth, they profess that they know God. But the works, they deny him. So your body, which is a temple, which is a synagogue, is corrupt. That's right. That's right. With your mouth, you say I'm a Jew. But with your hands, you beat women. Yeah. That's the synagogue of Satan. Synagogue of Satan. With your mouth, you say I'm a Jew. But with your hands, you're gambling. That's right. With your mouth, you say I'm a Jew. That's but with your hands, you're stealing. This people honors me with their with lips. With your mouth, you say I'm a Jew. And with that same mouth, you're cussing. That's right. With the mouth you say you're a Jew, but with that same mouth you say Paul was not a Jew. That's right. And yet Paul said, I come from the stock of Israel. Come from Abraham, a Benjamite, a Hebrew of the Hebrews. That's right. That's right. With say So they are here Jews. you're looking at a preacher, mm. and let me say it plain. I don't care. That's right. I don't care. That's right. Who declare themselves to be a Jew outwardly. Outwardly. That's right. That's right. Well, are you a Jew? Yes. Yes. That's right. I'm more of a Jew than you are. That's right. Yeah. Give me the first chapter of the book of Romans. Romans chapter 1. 
Let's see how are we a Jew. Romans chapter 2. The second chapter of the book of Romans. And at verse 28. For he is not a Jew. He is not a Jew. Which is one outwardly. Because you got on purple and gold. That's right. And because you read from the Old Testament. That's right. And because you march around bragging about your cheap, dirty, filthy, ungodly black skin. Go ahead. They ain't nothing but outward Judaism talk. That's right. That don't mean nothing. Amen. Even if you still got the full sin yeah. of your private parts carried around in your hand. That's right. If your body is circumcised, That's right. but your heart is not, you's a sinner. That's right. It was a sinner. That's right. Circumcised flesh. Carrying around foreskin yeah. ain't worth a dime. That's right. If the heart is no good, all you got is foreskin from your private part. That's it. That's it. That's, it. That's, it. That's why holiness yes, is of a necessity. That's right. It brings the sword of God's word right. that circumcised the heart. That's it. And I get rid of all your black and white hatred. That's right. Are you listening to the old man? For he is not a Jew. Give chapter and verse again. Romans chapter 2 and at verse 28. He is not a Jew. Which is one outwardly. Which is one outward. Neither is that circumcision. Neither is that circumcision. Which is outward, which is in, the outward flesh. in the flesh. But what? But he is a Jew. He is a Jew. Which, where? Is, which is one inwardly. Where? Inwardly. Inwardly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's right. I'm a Jew on the inside. Inwardly. It's not black in here. That's right. It's not white in here. No. No curls or long hair in here. Inwardly. God. Hallelujah. Is in here. That's it. Abraham God. The God of Isaac. The God of Jacob. That's right. That's in here. That's right. That's right. All that black stuff is outward. Outward. It ain't worth a dime. No. You black, but you're not circumcised here. That's it. You's a black sinner. That's right. You black, and yet say you're a Jew and got more than one wife. You's a black adulteress. That's you're it. black. And say you're a Jew, you selling drugs, you're just a black drug dealer. You black, and say you're a Jew, and yet you robbing somebody, you're a black thief. That's right. Are you listening? But he is a Jew. He is. Amen. I want to show you my Judaism. <laughs> that's right. Wonderful. The thing that's greater than what Abraham was. That's right. He is a Jew. Which is one inwardly. Which is what? Which is one inwardly. Now, when you a Jew inward, inward. this is what happens. And circumstances. Oh, this is what happens. Come here, Jimmy. Wonderful, brother. Come here. Uh, Lionel. Come here, Abraham. Come here, Emmanuel. Come here, Campbell. Wonderful. Come here, Ben. Line up here. Is a Jew well? But he is a Jew which is one inwardly. Read the whole thing. But he is a Jew which is one the inwardly. The whole thing. And circumcision. The whole verse. Romans chapter 2 and verse 29. That's what? We'll start back again at verse 28. Verse 28. For he is not a Jew, which is one outwardly. You see? These brothers are not Jews outward. Outward. Because to be a Jew outward, that means I can't come in your place of wish out. Unless I look like him, 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 him. Him, because in the so-called Hebrew Israelites, you have some Hispanics yeah. who was duped and conned also. Yeah. But Jimmy, 
won't be allowed in. That's right. But yet you got some black folk that's skin just as light as his. That's right. You know why? He came from the original man. That's right. Adam was the first father. First father. Adam was the first man. Yeah. Are you listening? Amen. What is it? For he is not a Jew which is one outward. He is not a Jew which is one outward. Neither is that circumcision which is outward in the flesh. But what? But he is a Jew. He is a Jew. Which is one inwardly. What happens? And circumcision is that of the heart. And what? And circumcision is that of the heart. What else? In the spirit. Wait a minute. You get it how? And circumcision is that of the heart. In the spirit. What else? And not in the letter. But where? Whose praise is not of men. Wait a minute. We don't praise no fleshy Judaism. That's right. But what? But of God. That opens the door for every color. That's right. Every race. When you're going after it according to the flesh, you target certain ethnic groups of color. Right. But when you go after it by the spirit, every knee shall bow. That's right. That means this brown man me got the bow just like this white man. That's right. Just like this Hispanic man. Just like this Hispanic man. Just like this black man. Just like this Hispanic man. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Back in Revelation. Back in Revelation chapter 2 and verse 9. So you surround the campus and I don't know what you thought you accomplished. <laughs> you hollered and left. That's it. And I guess you feel as though that you were important enough. You thought I should have canceled service and come out. Right. You just wasn't that important to me. That's right. At all. <laughs> and you never will be. That's right. Preaching the word of God and teaching God's people is the greatest thing. Oh, yes. Are you listening? That's right. The book says what? I know thy works. And God knows your works. That's right. That's why, viewers, when you see the purple game, <laughs> Amen. they wear gold and purple. Amen. That's a Out good name. Out in the neighborhoods of America, screaming and hollering, yeah. trying to get the attention of people of color. Do not waste your time arguing with them. Because they will fight you physically. Same one with the videotape say, oh, we out here peaceful because they always trying to betray us as being violent. No one has to betray you. You tell on yourself. That's right. They are violent. Yes, they are. Standing out, hollering and screaming to do what? To entertain the neighborhood? <laughs> Amen. The neighborhood was entertained. They looked at you. They laughed. <laughs> Many was in the church laughing. Yeah. Someone said, but they won't laugh in that day. What that day got to do with your blackness? That's right. Let me say this to the world. Black organizations was formed to retaliate against white organizations. White formed themselves under the heading of Christianity for years to suppress people of color. They used hypocritical pictures of a white Jesus, a white Martha, a white Mary, a white Moses, a white Noah, a white Adam, a white angel, all heaven white. All heaven. In history, black has always been made to frown upon, less than, look down upon. Even in food, devil's food cake, black, angel's food cake, white. white. <laughs> That's right. The devil done this for years. So to rebel against white supremacy, black organizations begin to form. 
to give black people a sense of pride. But being proud about the color of your skin don't mean nothing to God. No. I want the world to hear what I'm telling you. That's right. The whole world. I'm telling the world. The color of your flesh. Glory to God, regardless of what that color is, don't mean nothing to God. That's right. God declared all souls are mine. mine. The soul of the Father. All right. If the white man have no chance to be saved, what about a child? They got a white father and a black mother or a white mother and a black father. What chance the child had? What God going to do with the white side of the child? That's right. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Good. That's right. So what is your methodology of conversion? Oh, the child got to denounce all whiteness. The child can denounce all white that he want, but he can't drain that white blood out of him. That's right. That's right. Hear me, world! That's right. God declared, I know thy works. I know thy works. And tribulation. And your tribulation. And poverty. You see, men won't preach this. No. They are afraid to preach it. America is a racist country. America is a country loaded with bigots. But thank God there's a voice in the earth. That's right. And that voice is the voice of God crying out That's right. in the wilderness of America and the world. That's right. We're telling the world, come back to God. Come back. Who, Pastor Jennings? Everybody. Everybody. That's right. Hey, hallelujah. Everybody. Everybody. You might as well drop your whiteness and drop your blackness. Forget how yellow you are yeah. and get ready to repent of your sins. That's it. That's it. Go down in water in the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. Receive glory to God, the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Speaking in another tongue of the Spirit of the living God, give out. That's right. That's what you got to do, black man. Amen. White man. Amen. They hate when I preach like this. I don't like it. They say, that's another Uncle Tom preacher. <laughs> well, you tell Uncle Tom to repent, Uncle Jim, Uncle Ben, Uncle Bill, and Uncle everybody else. That's right. Repent. Give me Acts 2, 38. Acts chapter 2 and verse 38. What did the apostle say? Then Peter said unto them, repent, repent. and be baptized. How much? Every, Every one of you. Every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everybody got Every it. one of you. Hallelujah. Any of you black folk think you too black to obey God, your black self gonna be in hell. That's right. Even if you come from the tribe of Judah, tribe of Benjamin, tribe of Gad, tribe of Simeon, tribe of Levi, tribe of Manasseh, tribe of Ephraim, if you don't obey God, you're going to hell. That's right. That's right. That's right. Therefore, let all the house of Israel. Bible says obedience. Go ahead. Go ahead. Better than sacrifice. Better than sacrifice. Go ahead. Man. Hallelujah. You thought I was some plantation preacher. Amen. That you can come to a house and scream. Right. And we'll go somewhere in the corner? No! Oh, no. The Bible said this wasn't done in the corner. That's right. That's right. So you purple gang, 
bragging about your little cheap wrinkled foreskin. Yeah. Have your heart been circumcised? That's it. That's it. Is your heart right with God? That's right. That's it. You can talk about Abraham, but do you serve the God of Abraham? Amen. If any of you are scared of this preaching, you can leave now. Amen. But the truth of God is no scared church. No, no. If I got any scared ministers, it's best you go now. That's right. The word of God says what? For he is not a Jew which is, is one outwardly. He is not a Jew which is one outwardly. It yes. has no significance. No. None. You come from Judah? So what? So what? So what? You come from Simeon? Who cares? That's right. That's right. You come from Joseph or Benjamin? Who cares? Who cares? <laughs> Amen. I'm the direct descendants of Reuben. I don't give two cents. That's right. What's more important than the tribes of Israel? Israel. God. God. That's right. And if Israel don't obey God. Yeah. You know the so-called Hebrew Israelites don't believe in repentance and baptism in the name of Yahashua HaMashiach. Go ahead, brother. And the uh, Holy Ghost speaking in other tongues. Go ahead. And I'm declaring all Israel got to do it. In Acts chapter 2 and verse 36. That's what? Therefore, Therefore let all the house of Israel. How much? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How much, church? Let How much? Oh. How much? Oh. What about if you're black? If you're white, oh. brown, oh. yellow, oh. hallelujah. Suppose you at the welly wall. Oh, oh, got to do it. Oh, hallelujah. The purple gang got to pull off their purple clothes or leave them on and go down in the water. That's right. In the name of Yahashua. Hamashiach! Go ahead. Or die and go to hell. Go ahead, brother. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can march around all the first churches of the Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's right. We ain't moved. No. Oh, no. We ain't moved. No. That's good entertainment. That's right. That's nothing but a mama's parade. That's all. That's all. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? Therefore, let all the house of Israel. All you black leaders. That's right. Hallelujah. In America and the world. Hallelujah. If the only teaching you got is black skin. With no obedience to the Lord of the world, all you doing is promoting black dust. That's it. This ain't nothing but dust. That's it. Dust go back to dust. I want to show you what you are. That's it. That's it. The Holy Ghost says what? Therefore, let all the house of Israel all know right, assuredly. Everybody got to know this. That God hath made that same Jesus whom you have crucified. Have made that same Jesus whom you crucified, both what? Both Lord and Christ. What did Israel do? Now when they heard this, When they, they was there on the day of Pentecost, when they heard this. They were pricked in their heart. Now you shouldn't get mad. You should be convicted now. <laughs> That's right. All the purple gang should be convicted. That's right. Your heart got to get pricked right now. Amen. When they heard this, they were pricked in their heart. And said unto Peter and to, Peter the, rest and the, and apostles, to the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what? what shall we do? What shall we do? What, 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 what do we need to do? 
Then Peter said unto them, repent. Then Peter said unto them, become a Hebrew. Repent. <laughs> Amen. Then Peter said unto them, black power. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Then Peter said unto them, black power. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Amen. What shall we do? What shall you do? <laughs> That's right. You marching around from neighborhood to neighborhood, corner to corner, That's and right. the only thing you are telling these people, you are black. You are the original descendants of Abraham. Yeah. So what? So what? Amen. If I'm the original descendants of Abraham, what about my sins? That's right. What about my lying, swearing, drinking, gambling, homosexual lifestyle, going to parties, going to clubs, game banging, That's right. Carjacking, murdering, hustling, Amen. stealing. That's right. And I do all this in the name of blackness under the heading of Jew. Jew. My Lord. You're nothing but a black hypocrite. That's all. Now I know many of you black watchers will get upset. You see, he's Uncle Tom. You call me what you want. <laughs> Amen. I'm a preacher. Oh yes. I don't cater to black folk. I don't cater to white folk. I cater to Bible. That's it. I cater to Bible. That's it. I let the world know by God's permission that everything under the sun that don't obey what Jesus said is on its way to an everlasting hell. Amen. The light is turned on you now. You can't hide. Amen. Used to be an old song that we used to sing, light turned on. Can't hide. Can't hide, Senator. You can't hide. That's right. You that are watching, Hallelujah. forget about your blackness. Forget about how white you are. That's right. Black supremacy come from hell. Amen. White supremacy come from hell. Amen. There's only one supreme. That's right. And Jehovah is in. How many gods in the church? Four. How many? Four. How many supreme ones in it? Four. How many we got to obey? Four. How many died for us? Four. How many churches did Jesus start? Four. How many truths did God have? Four. Wonderful. How many lords? How many faiths? One faith. How many baptisms? One. How many ways to God? One. Hallelujah. The lights turned on. Hallelujah. Can't hide. Hallelujah. Can't hide. Can't hide. Can't hide. I think I sang a little bit of it. Oh, the lights turned on. Lights turned on. Lights turned on. Can't hide, stand up. Oh, the lights turned on. The lights turned on. Lights turned on. Can't hide, stand up. Tell me what you're gonna do. What you're gonna do. Tell me what you're gonna do. Head high, turn up. Oh, the light turned on. Light turned on. Light turned on. Head high, turn up. Run to your church. Run to your preacher. 
Religious antics. Yes. There's nothing wrong with you happy about being black, so what? But your black happiness will not earn you eternal life with God. No way. You white folk that think being white is the connection to God. He's a white liar. That's a lie. Your whiteness have no value That's right. whatsoever. That's right. Being white is cheap. cheap. Being black is cheap. That's right. Being brown is cheap. That's right. Obeying God is riches. That's right. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? Men and brethren, what shall we do? Men and brethren, what shall we do? Yes, Amen. What shall we do? Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Repent. And be baptized. Repent. 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 That's it. Repent. Repent. Hallelujah. Repent. Oh, right, thank God you got this to do here. That's right. One gospel. That's right. Glory be to God for everybody. One God himself manifest himself in the flesh, who was Emmanuel, God with us, Moses God. That's right. Wrapped himself up in a body, and that body was a man child. Yeah. Went to the cross and died, uh -huh. and he didn't die just for black folk. That's right. God, he died for everybody. Everybody. Went down the hill and come back the third day That's right. and declared that all power. Given unto me in heaven and in earth, stayed around a little bit longer and ascended above all heavens That's and right. gave the commandments to the apostles. And you think you're going to get around that because you're black? No way. No way. White religions was organized to suppress people of color. That's right. Black religions was organized to fight white supremacy. That's right. The white thought they was better than the black. Yeah. And the black fellows, though, they had to prove something to the white. That's it. And both of them got to obey God or go to hell. That's right. Hallelujah. Here I come, by God's permission, yeah. between all black, oh, yes. all white, all yellow and brown. That's right. And let you know that the word of God is here for every last one of you to obey. That's right. Every person under the sun that's in a white or black supremacy religion and that religion or that organization is trying to make you believe you are better than another group because of you rotten, stinking, dirty, unwashed skin. <laughs> that's right. Am I right? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I was said there's none good but one. And that one is God. That one is God. Here we are in the 21st century. Yeah. And these fools still trying to build up color in the earth. That's right. God got his word here for everyone to obey. That's it. Not even Jesus himself came promoting color. No. 
he came promoting the will of the Father. That's right. Meaning the will of the Spirit that was manifest in that flesh. That's right. And that's what he come, and that's what I'm coming doing by God's permission, yeah. is to draw you nigh to God. Forget about your skin. Yeah. Forget about your color. Forget about the color, how white you are, how brown, or how dark, or how whatever. Repent of your sins. Hallelujah. And be baptized. Be baptized. Every one of you. How much? Every one of you. Glory to God, the thing is down in my sanctified soul. Hallelujah. Every one of you. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. All right, now this is what all of you got to do when every black person is baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. They got black, they got white blood in them. That's right. So all you purple gang that's marching, <laughs> making all this noise, which one of you are pure black? That's I don't care if you trace your ancestors back to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> Mighty far, Pastor. Yeah. Right Mighty if, far. If you trace it all the way back to the Garden of Eden. That's right. Everybody Amen. under the sun got to come along and do it the way God says it. That's right. That's why they don't like me being so outspoken. No. And when you disagree with these black supremacy, right away they say you are Uncle Tom. No, I'm Jesus only. That's it. <laughs> Oh, you got that white man religion, Christianity. Nope. No. Our religion, if I use that term, is not Christianity. No. This is what our belief is. In the book of Leviticus chapter 19 and at verse 1. Uh, Leviticus chapter 19, then give me the book of Ephesians. Amen. Real quick, son. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying. The Lord. The Lord. Over said, God spake to Moses, saying. Speak unto all the congregation of the children of Israel. Speak unto all the congregation of the children of Israel. And say unto them. Ye shall be holy. Ye shall be black. Ye shall be holy. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Who did he say to tell this to? And speak unto all the congregation of the children of Israel. And what did he want Israel to know? Ye shall, and say unto them, ye shall be holy. Why? For I, the Lord your God, am holy. No, ye shall be black, because I, the Lord your God, am black. Ye shall be holy, for I, the Lord your God, am holy. No, ye shall be black, for I, the Lord your God, is black. Ye shall be holy, for I, the Lord your God, am holy. Amen. So calling me Uncle Tom don't offend me. No. Some of them logged on and cussed me out and said he ain't nothing but another nigger preacher. My Lord, my Lord. Call me what you like. That's right. <laughs> That's right. This is one preaching nigger that you got to obey. That's right. That's right. And in Ephesians chapter 1 and at verse 4. Calling me nigga don't bother me. That don't faze me. That's old language. That don't bother me. <laughs> that don't faze me at all. No. You call me nigga all day. That don't bother me. That's right. Oh. Wonderful. Thank okay, God it don't make me flinch a half step. I was <laughs> made a preacher. That's right. And I was made by Abraham's God. That's right. I was made by the God of Abraham, Amen. Isaac, and Jacob. Being made by him, he done stripped me of all fear. That's right. Of Amen. anybody Amen. and everybody. Amen. We're not out trying to make ourselves known, but we are promoting the God of heaven. That's right. And telling everybody to break up your folly ground. That's it. Worrying about your black and white skin, the folly ground. Yeah. Oh, yes. You see, this type of preaching is affecting the world. Anytime an entire organization surrounds the church, think of it. That's beautiful. They yes, gave is. us a testimony. But what oh, yes. if God got under the heels of an entire gang? <laughs> That's right. A whole gang out there yelling. That's right. Gene, Pastor Gino Jennings, come out. Come out. We want Gino. That's we is. want Gino. That's right. Should have been out there calling on the name of Yahashua HaMashiach. That's right. Amen. Amen. I know the internet is jumping, God knows. Yes, sir. <laughs> and they got that, they took videos of them marching around it. But I'm telling you, Purple Gang, you have no idea how you have helped the church. That's right. I, I'm telling you. 
Amen. You put on a good performance. It was a good demonstration. It was a good parade. <laughs> Amen. It was a good act. It was a good show. Good show. It was a very good show. And then afterward, you marched off in the sunset and you went back home giving each other high fives, bragging about what you've done. That's now it. think of it now. You got out the bed. You all made did an email blast. You met at the Truth of God campus. You were shocked at the size of it. You stood outside, read a few scriptures, screamed my name, yelled, and went on. Went on. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Here I'm still preaching the same thing. Same thing. We we'll repeat that God and I preach it, but God be my helper. The last breath to my body. That's right. That's right. Even if you threaten me, stand in line. <laughs> Amen. I've been threatened for years. Oh, yes. And I ain't budged. Oh, Anytime yes. Anytime the FBI threaten me and I ain't budged for them, you know I ain't budging for you. <laughs> I was made a preacher. I don't move for the FBI, the CIA, the Purple Gang, the Brown Gang, Ku Klux Klan, Hebrew Israelite, Nation of Islam, nobody. Nobody. Wonderful. One major like this, I heard God's voice. Hallelujah. Glory to God, when I heard the voice of God, he just done something to me inside and out. Wonderful. Makes me stand flat foot and tell the world. Hallelujah. We're sent to preach to the world. Hallelujah. And I'm telling the world, come on and obey God. That's it. Come out that black power trash. Come out that white power trash and receive the power of the Holy Ghost. That's right. Pastor Jennings, are you against black unity? No. no. I'm for the unity of all people. But I'm more for the unity for us to have with God. Oh, well, black is important. All right, that's nice. Thank God for that. Black is important. Every color is important. That's right. But God is more important. That's right. When you stand before God, what do you think you're going to do? Tell God you're black? <laughs> Amen. When the great I am appear up in the heavens, you think he's going to accept you because you black? Huh. No way. God ain't going to accept you because you're black, and God ain't going to reject you because you're white. That's right. God accept you based upon obedience. That's it. Are you listening to me? That's right. I want all the truth of God ministers that hammer this, drive this nail so far down, if it possible, the tip will irritate the devil's head. Amen. This racist supremacy is rising up more and more. Yeah. Until religions is encouraging their followers to be hit squads, mm. all in the name of their religion, doing thank you doing God's service that's right the black religious leaders when people relieve that religion black leaders telling members of these religions yeah. go kill her that's right go kill him yeah the time cometh that whosoever and it fulfills Bible st. John chapter 16 and at verse 2 they form hit squads amen spray paint churches Firebomb churches. You black things are hypocrites if you go complain about a white group bomb a black church and you do the same thing. That's right. And then say black lives matter. You a liar. Amen. Amen. Black lives matter. Stop raping her. That's right. Stop fondling her daughter.
Stop sodomizing the sun. That's right. Stop making the sun bow before you and he ain't praying. Amen. Stop disrespecting your mama and cussing out your daddy. That's right. Stop knocking up all these black and white and yellow girls making babies and your bum don't want to take care of none of them. Amen. Come back to me. Amen. That goes for you white folk too. Every race under the sun is doing the same dirt. That's right. And these many white preachers are scared to see something. Yeah. They just want to worry about their Republicans. <laughs> Amen. Half pint Christians. Yes. And then the black churches worrying about their Democrats. Yeah. What are you, Pastor Jennings? Holy. Holy. I ain't a Democrat or Republican. Holy. I ain't got confidence in neither one of them. One is a donkey and the other is an elephant. I ain't got confidence in neither. That's right. That's right. You watching, I know you don't like this. Amen. And I don't care if you don't. That's right. Anytime you black organizations will bomb churches, spray paint churches, vandalize churches, come on the outside and make noise to interrupt someone wish up, mm. you are just like the Ku Klux Klan, who in the 40s and 50s will bomb churches, stand on the outside and burn a cross. That's right. And you on the outside screaming and hollering like a bunch of uneducated fools. Amen. Amen. You know better than the Ku Klux Klan. No better. Get me! They shall put you out of the synagogue. They shall hear, 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 hear what Jesus said. St. John chapter 16 and at verse 2. They shall put you out of the synagogue. Yea, the time cometh. The time come. That whosoever killeth you. Whosoever kill you. Will think that he doeth God's service. And if you black followers of these black religions and you white followers of these white religions and you Hispanic followers and Asian followers of these no good rotten mad made cults which are nothing but hit squads. That's it. That's it. How is it that your leader can convince you, murder this one, murder that one, murder the other, give me your wife, give me your daughter, give me your son. That's right. That's and you blind, devil deceived, money giving perverts. Yeah. Do this in the name of Jesus, in the name of Yahweh, in the name of Elohim, in the name of Jehovah. Liars. That's right. You hate right. me because God made me a pit bull preacher. I ain't sent to lick ya. I'm sent to bite your religion and rip it to shreds. That's right. That's right. I listen to the old man. They shall put you out of the synagogue. They shall put you out of the synagogue. Yea, the time cometh. That whosoever killeth you, whoever kill you, will think that he doeth God's service. Anytime you young black men, white men, brown men, yellow of any color, will allow yourself to be manipulated by your leader, your bishop, your elder, your pastor, whoever it may be, right. where they can convince you to rape someone, cause your preacher don't like them, Amen. sodomize someone. Burglarize their place of worship. Vandalize their house. That's right. And you're that dumb to think that's God's will. That's right. You're nothing but a bunch of gangbangers. And these you things... You are nothing but neighborhood hood rats. Amen. You are nothing but trifling thugs. That's right. That's right. And your religion ain't nothing but a hypocritical cloak. That's it. That you hide under. But by the preaching of holiness, we will strip that cloak off you and leave you buck naked. That's right. All religions, all organizations that tell their followers to steal in their name. That's right. Murder in their name. 
rob and rape in their name, vandalize in their name. You are nothing but a regular gang. That's all. You are nothing but a gang of thieves and bums and trifling dogs. That's right. Who use your religion as nothing but a prop to manipulate the simple. That's right. Oh, take God. I'm so glad God made me a bold preacher. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. The Bible speaks plain. They shall put you out of the synagogue. They shall put you out of the synagogue. Yea, the time cometh that whosoever killeth you, whoever kill you will thinketh that he doeth God's service. They believe, they think they're doing God's will. And these things will they do unto you. What? Because they have not known the Father nor me. Any time, any religion order you to kill, Amen. murder, maim, rape, rob, vandalize, pillage, any type of harm That's right. afflicting upon anyone. That's right. You don't know God. That's right. They can say it's God's will, but that contradicts the Bible. And these things will they do unto you because they have not known the Father. Jesus said they don't know the Father. Nor me. But when these these things have I told you. These things I told you. That when the time shall come. So when it happens. You may remember that I told you of them. I can preach it now. That's right. That's right. Viewers, are you in a religion? That's plotting against some church. Plotting. That's plotting against some mosque. Yeah. That's plotting against some synagogue. That's plotting against some preacher. That's plotting against some ethnic group. Are you following a religion that want to attack Asian brothers and sisters? Mm. Are you following a religion that wants you attack black folk That's right. or attack white folk in the name of some God? Amen. Or you got some bum, some trifling no good bum as your leader who send you out to do the crime so you can do the time? <laughs> That's right. Amen. You do the crime, and he don't do the time. That's right. You's a sucker. That's a sucker. You're like a cheap two-dollar hoe. That's right. And the one that encouraged you to do this is your pimp. Amen. I don't care what religion you are. Anytime you commit any crime for your preacher in the name of some God, your preacher is equal to a pimp, whether he wears a kufi, whether he wears a turban, whether he wears a brim or no hat at all. That's right. He's a pimp and you are a whore. That's right. That's right. Go ahead, man. Are oh, you listening to the old man? Amen. Jesus said, I didn't come to bring peace. Who will take God but a sword? These are the last days. Oh, yes. And this is the message for the last days. That's right. Be holy. Be holy. God wants holy and sanctification. According as he has chosen us. Come out of us. these organizations. Mm -hmm. That's tricking you to be nothing but murderers. That's right. You can't see it because you look at a brotherhood. Mm. It's a game. That's right. When you're from the hood, you can understand. If you ever was in the hood, it's a game. A gang is a form of brotherhood. And they encourage each other to do crime. That's right. And when they commit the crime, they laugh. Why do you think these religious leaders can even manipulate their following, their men, to run a train? That's right. On somebody's mama, on somebody's daughter, and these no good dogs will hold them down and take turn and rape. That's right. And then go back and supposed to wish up some God. Some God. With no conviction. Amen. Religions around the world promote this. Oh, yes. Why they don't see nothing wrong? Because they believe they are doing God's, God's service. 
They shall put you out of the synagogues. Some of these are church people That's true. who claim they're Christians and other religions around the world. That's true. And the whole world is quiet. Oh, yes. Quiet. Yes. Quiet. Oh, yes. And they think that I'm mentally challenged because I'm noisy. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Amen. God be my helper. God's help, as long as the breath is in my body, and I believe it's going to be there for a good while. Amen. God opened my mouth, and will declare to the world, over oh, thank God what God Almighty commands to all ethnic groups of the earth. What a good feeling to see the mass choir, several hundred of them. Amen. From, from Africa, from Europe, Samoan Island and Fiji Island and Australia and Canada and the Caribbean Wonderful. and so many other places of the world. Wonderful. That's the type of God we serve. That's right. So viewers, I am simply a God-made preacher Amen. who have no interest. Yeah, 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 yeah. How plain can I make it? and the color of nobody old dirty stinking skin that's right i don't care if he's so black until you blend in with the street that's right until when i walk by you i thank you to asphalt <laughs> hey man do you call you the shadow lord <laughs> i don't care Amen. I don't have a black gospel. No. I don't have a white message. That's right. We just have the message until one scripture says, this is the this message. This is the message. Yes. That's right. And the truth of God cuts through that racism. Amen. And I'm encouraging everybody, come out of her, my people. Come out of her. Come out of these bigot religions. Come out of them. They are deceiving you, making you hate your relatives. Making you hate your relative. That's right. Some of your sisters married a white brother. And you and that white brother, brother-in-law got along. And then you got hooked up in some religion. Some religion. Now yeah, you call, you don't want him to come at your house. Yeah. Amen. Some of you married a black sister. So it's black sister-in-law, got along good. Got hooked up in religion. Now I don't want to be around your black in-laws. That's right. Why? Somebody brainwashed you and made a, a mule out of you. <laughs> That's right. I'm saying it nicely. <laughs> they made a homegrown, old-fashioned mule out of you. Amen. Donkey man. <laughs> Amen. Religion is doing this. Religion, Religion is causing this hate. The devil have hijacked religion and stamped the name of Jesus to it in all languages to promote hate. That's right. That's all it does. So they put on religious clothes, religious garbs, put on suits, neckties and bow ties, turbans, kufis and chemos. Carry Bibles, carry the Torah, carry the Quran. So they can be justified in murder, killing, stealing, raping. And then recite a commandment that they themselves don't believe. Any man that got the name Jesus in his mouth but scared to stand up like Jesus and his apostles Jews are coward and a hypocrite. Amen. Either you're going to stand up for everything that God stands for or you don't get credit for nothing. Close out again with Acts 2.38. This is good. Acts chapter 2 and verse 38. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Repent. And be baptized every one of you. Hear this. In the name of Jesus oh, Christ. I'm so glad that no one can get this program mixed up 
No. With any program? Oh, no. There's a lot of churches out there that got similar names as this. They got similar names as this. That's right. So we take God, but you can't get that preacher mixed up with this at all. Oh, no. Repent and be baptized. How much? Every one of you. How? In the name of Jesus Christ. Right. In the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. What did God promise? And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Anybody Ghost. Anybody want to obey God tonight? So far, during this conference, 52 was baptized so far. Wonderful. Anybody want to obey the word of God and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ? Stand on your feet if you want it. Wonderful. All of you that are standing, go to the back. Wonderful. In the name of Yahashua Hamashiach. Amen. My brother from, I believe it was the Samoan Islands in the minister's meeting, he said the name of Jesus Christ in his language. I got to learn that. Hey Amen. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know it. I got to learn it. Glory to God. Look at him. Getting ready to go down the water. Do you see this? Wonderful. Do you see this? When they heard this, they were pricked in the heart. They were pricked in the heart. Hallelujah. They were pricked in their heart. And said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles. And then brethren. What shall we do? That's what I'm telling you now. Lord, so God, you get ready to obey this. May God bless you. May God keep you.